the brothers, they all got together one night in a basement. The brothers, they all got together one night in a basement and they said, we got to find a new way. 40 bars have a certain um, ability, like the, the woman. Yeah, I, yeah, I, that's, why, that's what I love about 40. And now you like, why do y'all want me to be mad Yoshi and be all aggressive? But, but 40 don't have to do that. And she the top view female in battle rap. Yeah, yeah. Right now, yeah, I'm looking at... See a woman. I'm looking at... Right now, I'm looking at women's uh, battle rap as a very, very entertaining thing. I remember... I'm not going to lie. I'm just keeping it 100 right now. I could not fuck with y'all. Like, I could not... Not you or no, anybody that wasn't particular. Around with them That's what I'm ones. saying. So I'm not speaking on like you, but I'm just like as battle rap as a whole with females. Like I remember a time where it was just like, look, if it ain't, if it ain't like, I don't know, like Miss Hustle, you be, and, and, and even back then, like I still just even with Miss Hustle, like I wasn't into it like that, y'all. I wasn't into WNBA either though. You know what I'm saying? But you I'm really. Not. I'm really watching Diana Taurasi the other night go crazy. And I'm like, damn, I'm tripping. Like, women is on a whole nother level right now. Like, I'm really entertained with the WNBA finals. Like, I'm not missing another game. Like, that shit is crazy. Do you crazy. think having a daughter changed your perspective a little bit? Um, definitely. Definitely. Because I have to look at things totally different. You know what I'm saying? As a a guy without a daughter, man, it's kind of like you don't even have a chance to think about it. You don't even have time to sit and think about things from a woman perspective or, you know, if it ain't your woman and you're just trying not to upset her. But I'm talking about having a daughter make me think about things totally different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because you don't want your daughter to feel like she's limited in anything. You want her to feel like yeah. she's the top of the world. Yeah, I got a I got a bar in a in a new song I'm about to drop. I say kick it with my daughter now. Like yeah, you can run the world. Talking to her crazy. Don't you put no stigma on the girl. So you know, I I, I definitely feel like having a, a daughter turned me up kind of like just you know being more entertained into what a woman has to talk about. You know. You know what I love about you, Cal, is you 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 get vulnerable. A lot of niggas don't do that. In your battle, you're yeah. like, man, I fucked up with my baby mama. You know no yeah. niggas gonna say that. Yeah, for sure. I mean, sometimes, I'm not gonna lie, I really rap my life in my raps. And when I was starting my second round, I literally was going through this shit for real. And I, I was like, I gotta say this first and even get to my next line. That's all I can think about is that. You know what I'm saying? And I knew I didn't expect I didn't expect Geechee to come in there with nothing about my situation with my child or my baby mama or nothing like that. But it's just like sometimes, man, you gotta show people inside. You can't just make up bars the whole time you up here rapping. You gotta say some shit that you really feel sometimes because that would be more important to a person than a bar. They might be going through the same shit, you know. And yeah, that's that's what touched me. I'm like, how always spit that real shit. Yeah, for sure. And, like, that's really how I was feeling at the time when I created my second round. I just felt like that. Like, shit, we both going to be there for Toria, so it ain't nothing else to talk about. Like, it ain't nothing left but to respect it, I think I said. Like, and that's that's just how I felt at the time. And I, and I put that shit in my battle. Like, niggas don't do that. <laughs> niggas don't do that. I heard you say, like, I heard you say some shit like that about, like, just not having your father or... People don't talk about that in their battle raps. No, nope. and you know who put me like onto that? Bird. He was like, maybe it's some Midwest shit, but he was like, you you rapping for for people's ears, but not their heart. They can't relate yeah. to this shit. You just random shit. For sure, for sure. And I love your delivery though. Your delivery is like um, unmatched. It's calm, smooth, um, and it's like um, it's real. It's authentic. It's not like, I'm going to get the gun and shoot you in your shit. Like, you might get into that bag, but you got to work up to that bag. Everybody always tell me, like, 
Cal, you started slow, but then you heated up. And I'm like, no, I'm not starting slow, bro. My shit is a puzzle. My shit is my shit is a story from beginning to end. You think I'm starting slow, but I'm walking you down the alley. I'm getting you somewhere to drop you off this cliff. I'm not just, you know what I'm saying? My shit is, I'm not, I'm not starting slow. You're not listening. You know no. what I'm saying? Like, I'm telling you what's going on. I told you, I'm the, I mean, smack the face, Beasley do the bookings. I choose the talent. You ain't a champion. I don't care who, what I say? You ain't a champion. I uh, what I say? You ain't a champion until I approve the challenge. I don't care how many belts they had you. Like, he really was champion of the year three times in a row. This is not me rapping slow. This is me telling you what's going on. Nigga, I choose the talent. You're not even going to be the biggest street rapper until you battle me. That's what I'm I telling you. Can. You know what I'm saying? You got to battle me to be the top nigga. So, nigga, I'm choosing whoever I battle and I accept to battle. If I accept easy today, I'm choosing to let him be the top street nigga if he beat me. You know what I'm saying? So, Is Surf your first rematch? Uh, For three rounds? Yep. Ooh. I battled Hitman one round and then we battled three rounds. So I don't know if that's considered, you know, a rematch. Do you think but, that, okay, you, you're not, but you're not a big name flip guy. You don't really have to do a lot of that. But like sometimes no. people will run out of shit to say. I'm not the name flip nigga. I don't like. I don't like. I mean, I might. I might flip a name once or twice around, maybe. But I feel like that. That's when a nigga go name flips the whole time, or a nigga go like, I'm gonna rap about all toiletry, or I'm gonna rap about all basketball teams this this round. I don't like that. That's a bailout. I know what you're doing as a professional. As, as a writer, you know that that's yeah. the key. It make it as easy because you can focus your brain on one thing. I know what you're doing. And that's 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 the easy way yeah. out. Like I I like yeah, to hit cheese. everything in one round. I like to touch so many things. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to stay on one thing and be like, you know, I don't I don't know. Like the niggas, nigga, niggas be brainstorming like, okay, round one I'm gonna talk about this. Round two yeah. I'm gonna talk about this and make it yeah. easy. Narrow it down. They write it. That shit whack. Nigga did a whole boxing scheme on me and it nobody and didn't say nothing. I'm I leave with the talking. Mike Tyson with the draw set. Uh, Holyfield with the body. That shit is not sweet, bro. That shit's not sweet, bro. That shit is. That shit is mediocre rap. That's what it is. It's mediocre rap, and it can be good to people, but I'm I'm crafting this shit for my opponent so well to where even if you like that shit, by the time I rap again, it's like. Yeah, but it don't sound like that though. You know what right. I'm saying? Like that shit might be good, but that shit just good. That shit just average. Like, right. I mean, if you think Twerk and T Top beat us, then you need Q tips. <laughs> like, honestly, seriously, because I can see why you think they won. I can, I can definitely see. Up. And it's, and it's just like it's on the app. You can't go and watch it when you want to. Like, you know what I'm saying? But any nigga watching that battle, bro, you would you would hear some shit that we saying is just like some shit that they never said. Nothing like this. And I I mean I'm a person who I, I love authenticity, and I love like when you can make a true event clever. So it's not like you just pulled this out the sky like they do they bars. They pull bars out the sky that never had nothing to do with nothing that you could have said against anybody. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I feel like our shit is crafted for y'all. Like, you the niggas who was running out the building. So any bar that I craft to a fact of what really happened with your fake gangster street ass, I feel like my shit hit harder than yours. I don't give a fuck about your made up bars, bro. You're lying up here, bro. You so, making so up they things, rap bro. good, but you ain't told a lie yet. You hear me? Like, I don't care about all that make-believe shit, bro. Like, that shit sound good, but I I just told you some real shit, though. Like, I, I just told you exactly what happened, though. Like, I'm not even rapping. I'm It's rhyming, and I'm telling you what happened. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I just, I don't see how a nigga can feel like twerking T-Top beat us 
we had too much for them. I ain't gonna lie. We we had a lot. We had a lot of um, insight for them. We did. Yeah, I think people probably didn't even get through the whole battle because it was a, a little bit of tension and drama in that. Yeah. Battle. A lot yeah. of talking. It was a little bit of choking. I don't, I forgot who was choking. I don't know if it was T top. It was it was it was twerk and T top kind of, but it was twerk first, and they kind of like. Uh, I'll see you